Today we are kind of the mainframe era of AI, and from that we're going to switch to the PC era of AI, to the internet era of AI. So as you know, in the 80s, big companies like IBM and Silicon Graphics would sell these big mainframes, and we would literally connect to these machines over you know, this dial-up modems, you know, shh. Yeah. And even to use a calculator, by the way, we had to use a dial-up modem, which was not available on the machines. But in the late 80s and 90s, we said, hey, that's kind of stupid. I should just have that calculator or a word or whatever software you're using on my machine, on my home machine. And the fact that we moved from a mainframe era to PC era was interesting, but we needed one more thing. Before that, there was internet, which was mostly connecting machines. And Tim Berners-Lee and others said in the 90s that actually what we need is a World Wide Web. And he brought in four things, a browser, protocols like HTTP and HTML, and a notion of URL, how do you discover something, right? And with those four things, he transformed the internet into World Wide Web so that humans can interact with all the stuff that's out there. And one would argue that the impact of the mainframe revolution and PC revolution is insignificant compared to the impact of the World Wide Web. And the same thing is true today. The impact of AI will be insignificant to the impact of the internet and the web. <laughs>